Alright guys, so we're just going to jump right into the review of the new uh, Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. This is not new, it has been out in the market for quite a while now, but it is new to me. This is what the box looks like, it just has pink all over it, and it has like peach tint to it. And what the box says is that it's a comfort matte foundation. Um, it says it's infused with peach and sweet fig cream. So if you're not a fan of the scent, you probably won't like this, although it's not too scenty. Um, it also says that this is supposed to be oil-free, 14-hour wear, oil-controlling, photo-friendly, and shine-free. So today I'm going to be doing a wear test just so you guys can see how good the foundation looks even after um, 14 hours. I got mine in the shade Warm Nude. Um, it is a little bit darker for me, but I think I like the shade. I mean, I don't mind it. it says it's supposed to be transfer resistant and medium coverage. So this is what the this is what the actual uh, packaging looks like. As you can see, it's just like in a pink ombre kind of uh, tube. It does come with <clears throat> 1.6 fluid ounces. Now. We're just going to jump right into the video. Um, I love this foundation. I have worn it for the past couple months or so, and I really, really like it. I bought it back when I went um, back when I was in Miami, and I really, really like this foundation. So that's why I want to share it with you guys. So first thing that I'm going to do, and before I start, excuse my voice. Um, I've been sick for the past week, um, and so I wasn't able to film like last week. But I have my cup of tea, so. Hopefully this helps me throughout the video. Thing is first, I'm gonna start with moisturizing. Even though I am combination oily skin, I still wanna moisturize. Um, I have a separate video on why you should moisturize, even if you're oily skin. So today I'm going to be using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel with Hyaluronic Acid, which I'm pretty sure you guys have heard me rave about this 101 times. I'm going to let this soak into my face and then I'm going to go in with a primer. I'm not sure if you guys can hear my fan or not, but I have my fan going on because it's super hot and like I'm filming in front of a window right now and I, plus I have my ring light so yeah, it can get pretty hot. Okay, so once the moisturizer is nice and tacky, I'm going to go in with a primer. The primer that I have been loving and obsessing over, which I'm pretty sure you guys know by now. Um, it's the Photo Revlon, um, Revlon Photo Ready Pore Reducing Primer and this I'm just going to concentrate it on my cheek area and my nose which is where I have the larger pores. I recently got like an allergic reaction. I'm pretty sure you guys can't see by now but it did left me uh, scarring and at first I thought it was this foundation because of the smell but then um, but then I stopped using my hula bronzer and I think it's my hula bronzer because this is like the areas where I would contour with that so I think it was the hula bronzer I think it was just too old so today I'm going to be using a beauty blender for my whole face um, I like the coverage with the beauty blender it gives it just such a nice airbrush finish so that's what I'm going to be using and I'm going to be putting some on my finger and just dotting it. So I'm going to go in with this side half of my face so you guys can see uh, the coverage that it gives. So this is what half of my face looks like. As you can see, it looks pretty darn good, and I didn't really use um, a huge amount of foundation, which is what I like. Um, I feel it's like a thicker uh, foundation, but it's not super super thick, but it's not runny either. Here, what am I doing? Let me just show you. So this is the foundation. As you can see, it's not runny, but it's it's not super runny and it's not super thick either. It's like right in between that gel-like consistency. Alrighty, so this is what the foundation is looking like. Um, it looks pretty darn good. I don't think I'm gonna set it just so you guys can see how it wears throughout the day. Um, I am gonna set my concealer though under my eyes 
so that I am gonna set and with that being said I really like the coverage I didn't really bring it down too much over my neck and the color looks pretty darn good so I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup and I will be right back Hey right, guys so I went ahead and finished the rest of my makeup it is now 10 53 Ooh. It is now 10.53, but I did finish at 10 doing my makeup. Um, I just, I started filming another video, and I didn't realize that I didn't do the first check-in time. But, um, yeah, it is 10.53, so we are going to see how well this foundation wears throughout the day. Alright guys, so this is the last check-in. It is now 9, 9.45 p.m. So the foundation has been on my face for what, almost like 12 hours I believe. And honestly, right now I'm dead. Like, I really want to go to sleep. I've been working non-stop all day. I've been out all day, meaning like, I have just been sweating all day. And the foundation still looks pretty darn good. As you can see, my contour is still on point. My highlight is still there. Obviously, I have no lipstick no more, but... Everything looks good. It has worn around my nose and that's because I have been blowing my nose because you guys know that I'm sick. But usually the foundation does not rub around my nose. I mean rub off around my nose. So if a foundation technically stays around my nose and around my cheek area, that means it's a, it's a huge thumbs up for me. Definitely this foundation does not rub, a, rub around here. I don't know if you guys are able to see, but I have it all... Um, on my cheek area like I still have it my under eyes look pretty darn good my forehead. I mean I'm uh, My forehead is starting to get a little bit oily, but nothing Super intense like if you touch me the foundation is like not coming um, Not going anywhere, so I think it's pretty darn Good only if the foundation is going to be a good one or not within the two hour mark and this one ever since um, I've tried it ever since I bought it like a month ago I am obsessing over it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do enjoy these type of videos please make sure to give me a big like and I will continue to do these videos for you guys if you're not subscribed to my channel make sure to hit that subscription button so you become part of the quad and with that being said uh yeah i think that's it i really hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will catch you guys in my next one very soon bye guys